God's honor. With all due respect, I speak my piece. Clearly, there are two sides to this heated coin, this issue of the noise ordinance ban proposal. <coughs> all things considered, no one can represent what they do not understand. How can spontaneity fill out a permit for creativity? How can inspiration be confined to an acoustic whisper? How can motivation persevere through unreasonable limitations? The chemistry of our community finds solidarity in our streets. Many professional artists in Charlotte are flourishing due to the outdoor music scene, which allows for so much networking and collaboration. The only thing I want to say about myself is that I was the first musician to plug into the wall at Salvador Deli and Noda and jam outside. Five years later, we have re-inspired a whole movement of live outdoor music performances incorporating painters, dancers, singers, poets, and more. Ask Will Puckett, ask David French, ask Blues. We artists go from house jam to street corner concerts to theater performances. We have long been a vital contribution to Charlotte's economic growth, whether some realize that or not. We have honed in our crafts and evolved immensely because we have been free to respectfully create art and music outside on our streets. On Q Productions, two-year resident at Blumenthal Theater. Q started in Noda. Slam Charlotte, two-time National Slam Champions, repping the QC for five years now, got started in Noda. Four members of Concrete Generation are placed in the top ten poets in the world. Neighborhood Theater almost closed but didn't. Salvador Deli will be reopening. Gallery crawls are flooding the streets with customers as new businesses continue to recognize the growing demographic. While some frustrated and frustrating neighbors operate under the false pretense of apathy, we choose to operate under the principles of effective communication. How can this proposal be accepted as a solution proportionate to the problem if it isn't respective of specific demographic? Does anyone here truly believe that all neighborhoods should suffer for a lack of better solutions? There are over 500 restaurant bars when there are 400, foot residents, 400 feet of a residence. Who really expects an entire city to shh? keep it down on a Friday night. Live outdoor music sustains our livelihood. We come out to play, to inspire, to commune, to create, and we inadvertently become an unofficial subcommittee of the Neighborhood Watch. Oh, we watch right along with the no doubt firemen, local families, their children, dancing, young people, old people. Yeah. The community loves what we do. I'm simply saying as a voice in the city, for the city, that better changes will be made if we meet eye to eye. But we, artists of the neighborhoods, we represent, we come out to play, dance, and sing. We are in turn watching, protecting, and changing, and bettering our streets. In the context of unemployment, in the context of a city in debt, we increase revenue year after year. More and more Amen. small businesses are opening and staying open. Neighborhood Theater, Cobblefish, Taco, The Sanctuary. The owner of the recently opened Jack Beagles has bought Salvador Deli, and we have every intention of bringing the spring in with yeah. live outdoor music. Yeah. Yeah. Jobs in our communities. We create jobs in our communities based on the relationships we have with one another. Ask Megan Crenshaw, Paul Sires, Ruth Lyons, Stuart Sloan, and your prayers if you got them. We yes. have neighborhood yes. families that sustain one another. Thank you. Appreciate you.